Hello everybody! This video will show you how to take a screenshot on an Android or iOS smartphone or tablet PC. The methods in this video will work with most popular models based on Android, such as Samsung, Huawei, LG, Lenovo, Asus, Xiaomi, Meizu and so on. We'll also have a look at how iPhone and iPad do it. Hello friends! If you need to recover deleted data, view or restore removed browsing history, Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description, download the necessary program for free, install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you will be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. Because of the big variety of models and firmware used by manufacturers, there is no universal way to take a screenshot in Android. Let's have a look at all possible variants. Beginning with Android 4, there is a standard key combo for screenshots. You should press and hold the power and volume down buttons for one or two seconds. You will hear a camera shot a sound and the screen will blink white. As a result, you will see a notification in the status bar that a screenshot has been saved. You can find the screenshot in the gallery in the Screenshots folder. With, with most Samsung smartphones and tablets, press and hold the Home and Power buttons for a couple of seconds. And now there is the third method to work with the oldest Android devices, I mean those running Android 3 and earlier. To take a screenshot, hold down the Home and Back buttons for a couple of seconds. If none of the methods worked, try holding the buttons down a bit longer. Don't forget that they should be pressed at the same time. If it's the first time you take a screenshot, you may need several attempts. If your device model is not a very popular one, you may need to contact your device manufacturer to learn how to take a screenshot. Also, such things sometimes happen if your device is running a custom firmware. However, almost all custom builds for Android have the standard key combos integrated. And of course, you can install one of the many apps for taking screenshots on your Android device. I don't even know if it's worth take, uh, talking about any particular program. Uh, for example, let's take one of the first apps suggested by Play Market. Screenshot Easy. You will find the Play Market link in the description below the video. So, to take a screenshot, run the app and tap Start Capture. Now go to the screen where you want to take a screenshot, select the apps icon in the tray, and the screenshot will be taken and saved to Gallery Short Screenshots. Still, for me, third-party apps seem to work slower and not as good as the Android standard option. That's why I'd recommend using other solutions only if you can't find your way through the conventional key combo. I also recommend watching a video in our channel about recovering data deleted from an Android device. I will give the link in the description. Unlike the case with Android, the key combo for screenshots has been the same for all Apple devices starting from the earliest builds of iOS, and it differs only for iPhone X. To take a screenshot with an iOS device, press and hold the power button and the home button at the exact same time. As iPhone X doesn't have the conventional home button, there is a new combo for the job – press and hold the power button and the volume up button at the same time. The screen will flash white and you'll hear the camera shutter sound. After that, open the Photos app to see the screenshot. And of course, you can install one of the many apps for taking screenshots on your iPhone or iPad. I don't think we need any particular names now, as long as the standard function works without any problems. I'm sure you won't have any difficulty in taking screenshots on an Android or iOS smartphone or tablet PC. Yet, if there are any questions, feel free to post a comment and ask. If you don't know how to connect your iPhone or iPad to a computer to upload or download some data, visit our channel to watch a video about it. You will find the link in the description. That is all for now. If you found this video useful, click the like button below and subscribe to Hetman Software channel. Thank you for watching and good luck!